Hey guys, it's Yui. Today I'd like to share with you the haul and some reviews of the products that, that I've got from Beauty Bay and also Mecca store. So let's start off with the Beauty Bay. I got a beauty blender. This is an original like bright pink one and I actually got two and I just gifted one of them to my friend who was having a wedding and I did her wedding makeup actually on the day and um, I think she likes it. That's good. Um, mine... I realized that I have another one, which is a red one. Now it's a bright orange. I noticed that there is a little bump on the bottom side of the beauty blender and it's quite uneven. It's a hand cut sponge and I didn't really know that. But anyway, I was like, mm, I don't know about this because I want my tools to be perfect. I know I'm being too picky about it, but you know, like if you pay like 30 bucks or 24 bucks or whatever for this just little sponge, I want it to be perfect, right? And um, I was like, hmm, but then I started using it. I don't think it affects um, how it applies the foundation, so I'm not really worried, but it just doesn't really look really neat. That's all. But anyway, I do like Beauty Blender. I don't think it is worth the price. I mean, like, this is my second one. I'm repurchasing it. But I still do agree that this is really expensive and then you're supposed to replace this every three months, which I think it is ridiculous. I can't afford it. I'm definitely going to extend the use <laughs> of this guy here. But I do like it and I have some other, like, the knockoff version of the Beauty Blender and they do the job. They do the job fine, but it's not quite the same as a Beauty Blender. I'm not going to say which is better, but it just it's just different. It works differently. It feels differently on the skin. So. I'm just gonna say it's different, um, but anyway, I really do like a beauty blender, so I would purchase this one. I got three lip products from Beauty Bay, and one is Milani Amora Matte Lip Cream, and this is in color called Adorable. And Beauty Bay doesn't really have this in stock all the time. Their range or shade range or um, whatever they have, it's not consistent. So I actually had this in a shopping card one time and I was gonna pay later and then a couple of days later I came back with a credit card detail and then it was gone. And then it didn't really come back in stock for a really long time so the second I saw it again I was like yes 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 click pay. <laughs> so anyway this is the color. It's a nice really um, neutral nude color so to say and it's not too beigey so it doesn't really make you look completely dead and it's a really nice color it dries down to the matte finish and therefore it kind of clings better to your lips it has a very nice um, stain power on the lips and I really like this color it feels it is it goes matte but it feels really like comfortable I wouldn't say completely comfortable it's not like a lip balm or anything it's not like feeling like it's moisturizing but it doesn't feel completely like very drying so that it feels like it's cracky and all you, you know what I'm saying it doesn't feel that bad so I really like this color how it feels and then the longevity on the lips and then the other two are from LA Girls these are glazed lip paint one is in peony one is in tempt and I'm gonna swatch these for you and this one uh, the applicator is just a plain plastic. It doesn't have any fuzzy top, like um, Too Faced. What is that? Uh, I forgot the name of it. But you know the the lip um, liquid lipstick that comes in a tube that looks almost kind of like this. I think they're trying to duplicate that Too Faced one. But anyway, so these are the color swatches. Oh. What was it? <laughs> so this is a temp and this is peony and I did a research on these like you know color swatches like I just wanted to really really like it um, and um, this peony color looks great on the swatch like on my hand it looks nice and that's what I thought that it would be but when I put it on my lips it just made my whole complexion look really dull. I think this was a little too pastely, a little too pale, so to say. Like, it's kind of funny thing. Like, it's, it's, it's a bright color, but it just kind of washes my face out for some reason. So I don't think that I'll be wearing this much. Um, it just, it doesn't look great on me, that's all. But I really like this color called Tempt. It's a really nice and dark and vampy color. However, I think that I can find a very similar look, like similar color 
from Hard Candy, what was it called, suede lipstick, I think, you know, one of those, like, a liquid lipstick that comes in a, like, a doe food applicator, and it actually, like, the lipstick came in a tin as well, one of those, and then the color was called Dahlia, and it has a really similar tone to um, this color here, and these two, the uh, lip paint, it just feels like it's almost a little too creamy, it doesn't really dry down to a matte finish or anything, so when I apply it, it doesn't go, like this one, the peony goes almost opaque, full, full color, and somehow this darker color, it has a little bit of like sheerness to it, it's clear, sort of, and if I want to build up the color, I would have to apply thick coat of it, but then because it's really creamy, it feels like it's just going everywhere, so it feels comfortable, but it's kind of a borderline where I feel like, ooh, it's too risky to put lots of, you know, the products on because it feels like it's moving everywhere, it's going to move outside of my lip line, it's not going to stay put, you know, that sort of texture. And I'm going to just remove this here. Oh, see? So I'm just using my makeup wipe and it came off straight away, the lip paint but a more lipstick, lip cream, is still staying there. Um, it probably is because it has dried down and also like I have this a little bit longer, but still, I'm like rubbing it. It's coming off a little bit, but you know, it has a really good staying power. Okay, moving on to the Mecca. So I placed an online order on the Mecca website one day and I got something kind of big-ish and then I got this beautiful beautiful box and if you order it online you get your orders in like wrapped in a tissue paper coming in this kind of design of the box. This is not like a super hard cardboard box but it's assembled well and it looks really beautiful and then if you shop at the actual shop this is what you get and there is a backstory behind this design um, I think it is a local artist in in Australia and whatnot so you can read all about it on their website but anyway I think it is really beautiful and this box um, you get a little uh, ribbon and then a gift tag as well and then this box would come inside of the cardboard like you know boring box so if you take it out and then if you have like all the gifts just in here um, you just can just put the wrap uh, it's not a wrapper what do you what do you call it the ribbon and then you put a tag on and you can just just give it to someone it's just totally giftable it's really p pretty I like it it's just really festive. It's not really that important, but it's festive. I like it. So, what did I buy for other people? I hope that she's not watching it. it doesn't really matter. If she's seeing it, it doesn't really matter. She's gonna get it in a few weeks. So, this is what I bought for someone that I know that she enjoyed one of the... I think it was this or this one. Last year, I actually got her um, one of these and um, also the matching body lotion, both in the travel size. I think it was exactly the same size as this and she she said that she likes it so I'm gonna get her more of these so that she can try some more and um, it's really great for just sampling and also traveling which is really cool you know like if you like one of them so much you can buy the full size or you know you can just keep sampling until everything is gone this is my favorite mascara better than sex from Too Faced and it comes in already like cute little gift boxy sort of thing and you can just hang it it's like an ornament um, of the tree and then it has two and from and little Santa it's just you know already pretty packaged so I thought that it was cool and I like this mascara I like this so I want her to try this <laughs> I think that she'll like it okay so what did I buy for myself is of course, I had to buy the full size of the Better Than Sex mascara because I freaking love it. I know that I set this smears on my eyes and it's still the case. I think it is still the case. I don't think that it has changed, you know, like the miracle didn't happen overnight. But when I went into the store, I wasn't really sure which one to go for. This or the waterproof version. They have waterproof version of Better Than Sex mascara. But in so many reviews that I read online, they said it was a completely different formula. The waterproof version was just really goopy and more wet sort of formula. And it just comes in the same packaging. I mean, the same wand, like a really um, like tapered hourglass sort of the brush. 
and that's the only thing that they have in common. The formula is different, um, longevity is different on different people. Some people still say that the waterproof version was very, you know, smudgy and smeary, and it had me worried. So I went into the store, tried it on a disposable wand. I wish I could have tried it in the, the actual wand, but you know, of course, they don't let you do that. So I tried it on. And they were right. It was so wet, it took forever to dry. And um, while I was waiting for it to dry, it would transfer onto my eyelids because it's so wet. And I thought, okay, maybe it is really waterproof, but I don't have this kind of time to wait in every morning. When I put on mascara, I just go, oh, like for five minutes. I don't have that kind of time. So I just went ahead with the Better Than Six mascara. What I regret about buying this is that now, after I bought this, they came out with exactly the same mascara with the waterproof formula, like a little deluxe sample thing attached to it, I think for the same price. And I was like, what? I wish I'd gotten that instead of this one. Moving on to another Too Faced product. It is Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoother Pressed Powder. So this is what it looks like, and the compact, like the packaging is so cute. I mean, all the Too Faced stuff is cute, but yeah, uh, you get a mirror, and then you get the powder, the product here, and then you have a little puff inside, like, you know, underneath, and it looks like a pinkish sort of a powder, but damn, this is a really good mattifying powder. I was surprised, and I was like, just blown away the moment I just, you know, tried it on, I was like, whoa, so good. I'm happy that I spent so much money on this. It's like $44 or something crazy. But anyway, uh, when you pick it up, you can see that it's not quite colorless. Like, when I put it on, it goes on, it's like really finely milled. So on my skin tone, it looks like nothing. But I'll be lying if I don't see any colors on the puff or on my skin. I do see some colors, but it's not deal breaker or anything. It's it's something that I can handle. And what I do is take a little bit. I don't even need to go like this. I just take a little bit and just kind of kind of like blot blot blot. You can't really tell because I already mattified my face like for this video, but this mattifies my skin like crazy. I would have like super oily area sometimes because it's summer, you know, you get kind of sweaty and oily. And then particularly on my, like this area gets usually pretty oily and it looks kind of greasy and gross. And then I put it on, it's like, it like it never happened. It's so good. It's a great touch-up kind of a powder if you tend to get oily throughout the day. It doesn't keep you matte for like many, many, many hours, to be honest. But at least for a few hours, you don't really have to worry about um, just, you know, mattifying your face like so often. It's such a great touch-up kind of a powder. And I have this in my makeup bag um, that I always carry with me. So it's really, really good. I am completely satisfied with this purchase. And then the last thing that I have is this Clean On Me Shower Gel from Soap & Glory. I just heard great things about it and I just wanted to give it a go with this like smaller version because I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to like, a super big bottle. And now I'm smelling it and it kind of reminds me of the hand food but like this is more floral side. I, I think hand food was like softer, more gentle, very um, like... I don't know if I can say quiet about the scent, but it was like a very soft scent. This one is more prominent, but it has carried this sort of like similar scent to the hand food hand cream of the Soap and Glory. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like it. Some people said that it smells like a really expensive perfume. I, well, I haven't really used it in a shower, so I won't know, but ever since I felt pregnant, the body wash that I was using, which was a rose jam from Lush, I still love the scent and I can't use it now, but um, the first trimester, I was like, no, I can't use it on my body because it's just so overpowering, like I didn't want it on my skin. Um, so I got this one and now I can go back to Rose Jam, but I can still use this and then I think that I will like it. So I'll keep you updated about this. So that is everything that I bought from Beauty Bay and Mecca. I hope you enjoyed this mini sort of collective reviews, quick reviews, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye!